Here we go. Let's go. All right, Jeff, don't disappoint. Don't disappoint us. Summer game fest. Okay, let's go. 2022. Come on, Jeff. Don't disappoint us. Here, watching inside an IMAX theater. I don't know what happened Welcome there. Welcome to our <clears throat> showcase event. Over the next few hours, we'll give you updates on the games. Few you love, hours. Be joined by special developer guests, and yes, mm. have a few surprises along the way. I'd assume like an hour and a half. What I love about this show. I don't know. We'll see. A true cross industry showcase. Whether you play on Xbox, PC, PlayStation, Switch, or mobile, we'll have games for you. It doesn't matter your platform of choice. Yes. We're all here to come together as one community. All right, so everything's gonna be in the show. <clears throat> Less games. Xbox probably though, because the they got another show coming. Franchises in the industry are here, like Call of Duty. Yeah. We'll get introduced we knew to about exciting that. Exciting new worlds, new teams, and we'll make room for small <clears throat> independent developers who we think deserve the Indies. spotlight too. Mm -hmm. If we do this right, hopefully you'll discover a few new games to put on your wish list. And even if you don't get every announcement that you desire, let's face it. You're not going to get everything today, but we've got a lot <laughs> of great stuff. You sure, so let's you sure Jeff? Get started. No, nah, we won't get everything. Years we never ago, did. Capcom Street Fighter hit arcades. Already? This legendary Japanese fighting game series has continued to evolve. Street Already? Fighter 6 is coming in 2023, and right now, we're excited to officially confirm a character oh, coming oh. to the game and show you the is that exclusive... It? First gameplay footage. Oh, let's go! More Street Fighter 6. Let's go! Give it to us! Nice stage. Is it Guile? Is it Guile? It is Guile! Whoa! He looks good in game! Look at that! Wow! Back throw. Nice. Let's see some Sonic booms. Dude's freaking jacked. But they always are. Was that Sonic boom? Yeah, let's go. Let's go, dude. Dude, he looks so good. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, that's pretty sick. I'm just on another level. <laughs> All right, that's a good way to start the show. That's a good way to start Summer Game Fest off with Street Fighter 6, yo. Let's go. Showing off Guile right off the bat, dude. Oh my gosh, yes. It's all about the comb. All right. Next, it's time <laughs> the a comb. brand new game announcement here at Summer Game Fest. Check this out. Check this out. Okay. Twenty Century Games. Year twenty one ninety eight. Okay. Sergeant Leo Alvarez of the CM Weth Recon Squad. Our mission was to enter the Tantalus base. Locate the commsat relay and bring it back online. We found the relay, but there was a problem. Get that door closed now, Private. Hmm. <clears throat> I couldn't predict this right now if I if I tried. This is a multiplayer so 
hordes of aliens. There's xenomorphs. My bad. What? Ooh. Sucks to be you. You're done. I don't know what I saw in there. This is just a, uh... I know when I close my eyes. Reveal and I still see it. I dig it. What? We never know what it could play like. But this is a sick trailer, regardless. And someone needs to know. Wow. Aliens Dark Descent. All right, all right. Okay. Eh, it's a top view. I don't. Eh. I don't know if it's for that me, but that's still pretty cool. That was a cool trailer. 2023 to console and PC. Next, two years ago at the Game Awards, we revealed the Callisto Protocol from the creative forces behind the Dead Space okay. franchise. Today, I am more Callisto to Protocol. To the first raw gameplay alongside its creator Glenn cool, cool 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 first here's the quote unquote Schofield cut of the brand new trailer with a little more gore a little more gore dude the last trailer had enough <laughs> this game's gonna have a lot of freaking gore holy crap dude this game looks sick I might end up having to get this one I just might. So this game look looks outside. good. Did you know that they call Callisto the dead moon? Dead. Just like you could have been if I hadn't fished you out of that wreck. So okay. whatever you're holding on to right there, that's your old life. You this is the perfect mix of action horror, but more towards the horror side. Is this the same trailer? In my hands. I'm just trying to give you a chance. At rebirth. Wait a minute. Did so Is this the same trailer? Did Sony do it first? Wait a minute. I think that was new. But I could be wrong. I just love that last part. There might be some new stuff in here. But it looks it gives me chills every time. Yeah, this is the same trailer that Sony put in their state of play. I think. Okay, I could be wrong. Oh, it's a little different. Yeah, it's different. Okay. I don't remember some of this, so. Or maybe it isn't the. It isn't different. Uh, uh. Welcome to your new home. Uh, uh. That might have been the same trailer from the Sony State of Play. December game. Hmm. That's right. We know what you wanted to see. And joining me now, Glenn Schofield, striking distance. Glenn, uh, first of all, congratulations. This game looks absolutely incredible. And I got to say, the fact that you have built this team. It does look really studio, incredible. New IP shipping this December. All it in does. COVID, blows me away. So congratulations. Yeah, thanks, <clears throat> uh, thanks for having us. I really do appreciate it, Jeff. Um, and, you know, for a second, just give me a second. You know, I want to thank you uh, for all you've done for the game industry uh, all these years, man. I, I think I've known you like 16, 17 years now. And uh, um, you've been an ambassador. Um, you've amplified new games, new studios. And uh, I, I just wanted to thank you. I really do oh, appreciate well, it. Thank you. It's not about me. It's about you guys. Yeah, I, I know. I, but I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And, yeah, it's so fun to do these shows. And to show this game, so people saw the trailer, but what I'm so excited today 
is that you just brought a raw gameplay sequence. This game is in development, and people are going to be blown away, I think, when they see it. But it does look good. About what are we gonna see today? Will I play it or not? Yeah, a couple minutes of, uh, Maybe. Said, like, well, gameplay. I don't know. Uh, that horror is pretty, pretty nuts. Game. Uh, one is a med bay. Another one is a power station. And you're going to see... Uh, Might end the year off with a bang, enemies, though. Some brutality, some... Uh, <clears throat> Just about everything. We were showcasing a new uh, weapon called the grip. Okay. It's a uh, like a gravity gun, but it picks up the enemies and it shoves them into giant fans. It rips them apart. It's great. That's pretty cool. And uh, and then check out the. That's uh, pretty cool. The nice ending we have, where we uh, you know we usually will kill our main character Jacob and in a very unique way. And uh, uh, just for a second, I I want to thank the team, man. Like you said, through COVID, through everything else, the dedication, the hard work. Uh, you guys are amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, well, Glenn, I got to say, again, you know, what you guys are shipping this year, <coughs> this looks like a world-class next-gen game. Uh, it's it's rare that teams are bringing something out like this this year. And let's let the footage speak for itself. Glenn Schofield, Striking Distance. Here it is, the first gameplay of the Callisto Protocol. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Gameplay. This is what I'm talking about. This is what we've been waiting for, right here. Have to run next gen hardware, of course. Very dead spacey, but oh my gosh, that was cool. That was cool. I'm interested, to say the least. This might be something I want to play. Another. Oh, shoot. Oh, nice. Very gory, man. This looks kind of sick, though. Like, honestly, this really does look like something pretty good. It might be something I want to play. Because I am a fan of Dead Space. Even though I haven't finished all three, I gotta I gotta finish them, man. Before the remake. But this looks pretty good. Especially if there's nothing else that comes out in December. Like, this, hands down, dude. Does he have a helmet on? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's total, complete Dead Space vibes, this whole game. Now he has a helmet on, and it has, like, a little green bar thing in the back, just like Dead Space. Oh! Spit at him, or was that, like, a piece of him? Let me spit at him. Dude, this is basically Dead Space 4, but with a different name. That's essentially what this is. I'm curious who is doing the remake, because obviously it's not the same team. Because this is made by the Dead Space developers. Oh! Oh my god. That just happened. Alright, moving on. This October, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Oh, okay. Infinity Ward wow. is once again returning to its roots for a wow. modern day action game. Okay. Today, we're about to show you the world premiere of its gameplay with a level playthrough. To tell us more, let's, let's head to the port of Long Beach to check in. I'm interested. Ferris, the head of Call of Duty. I will say I'm at least interested in Modern Warfare 2 because I enjoyed the first one for a little while. Especially campaign was amazing. In 2019, Modern Warfare changed everything and on october 28th true we kind of true a new era of call of duty with the launch of modern warfare 2 we are back long time coming bigger, and we are bringing the entire team price Gaz, yes so alejandro and of course ghost heck we yeah need a stage big enough to debut call of duty in a whole new way inspired by the world we're about to enter oil rigs cargo ships and staggering odds are just the beginning. Here is Modern Warfare 2. 
Now, is this going to be multiplayer gameplay or campaign? Probably campaign. I don't think they're ready to reveal multiplayer just yet. Not quite. <clears throat> okay, yeah, 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 it's campaign. That's what I figured. Which is fine. I mean, I like seeing some campaign, for sure. I mean, that's one of the reasons I'm going to be buying it. Is the campaign, because the first one was awesome. And these characters are great characters from back in the day. Really great. Sure looks good. Visually, anyway. Cool. I like the atmosphere, the red glow. Room clear. Coming out. Okay, so you're playing as Price. I was wondering who you were playing as. <laughs> His body's dropping. Literally dropping. First one was really sick. We need to move fast. I can tell this one's gonna be sick too with the campaign. You can definitely tell. I'm glad they rebooted this franchise, honestly. I mean, I, I mean, I still own the first one because of it being... They took up my whole console space, which was kind of a disappointment. But, uh, I'm gonna be getting this one on PC so I have the actual space. And I absolutely am gonna get this one. I'm already, I'm already I mean, I'm already sold because I love the, I enjoyed the first one. Campaign was great. Multiplayer for a little while was great. Warzone ain't quite my thing, but if they're doing a Warzone 2, I'll check it out. Clear. I'm going to have to re-watch this later and see the, uh, the audio with it up more because my audio is a little lower. Not too low, but I don't want it to risk an echo if there is one. Is this a trap? No. I love that they stick with the original, like, actors and voices as well. At least I think they did for the reboot. Oh, 
This is gonna be a long show. I'm all for it though. More the merrier, I say. What? I, what? Why did they run into something? Let's have ourselves a gun fight. Oh, they just ran straight all the way into the into the boat. Okay. Shotgun range is ridiculous. Of course it is. Oh, if it's like that online, oh boy. I'm say you should probably reload. sick they're showing us a whole mission so which I understand why I mean they're not gonna show multiplayer yet they'll show it in the future they'll show it probably within the next month or two probably like next maybe next month I don't know who knows I don't know how, how the schedules work with Call of Duty showing stuff because I don't play many of the games, but Modern Warfare did bring me back. It just randomly popped open. Okay. Maybe seal your windows. I was wondering, like, how long that was gonna go for. October 28th. Pre -order now and get early access to the open beta. Not pre ordering yet. Nope, nope. That's what we're talking about. And joining us now, up from Long Beach, Johanna, great to see you. How's everything? It's great. Thanks. Uh, great to have you with us. And also, Jeff from uh, Infinity Ward. So. We saw the first gameplay. Thanks for that extended sequence. Looks incredible. Uh, Jeff, tell us a bit about that mission. Uh, where is that set in the game? What are we seeing there? Absolutely. So, um, first of all, we're really excited to welcome back uh, Captain John Price and uh, mm -hmm. uh, Gaz uh, Garrick. Um, you know, they're not re they're not actually in what we just saw today, but uh, they're returning members from 141. And then the other two characters uh, that were you may recognize from the older franchise that we're reimagining are uh, Simon... Ghost Riley, and uh, of course, uh, Soap John McTavish. Um, and then a couple other new characters in here that we're really excited uh, that we got to uh, create for this game. Um, first, uh, Commander Philip Graves, and uh, Mexican Special Forces uh, Colonel Alejandro. And Alejandro, I gotta say, we're, it's a character we're really excited about. He's a guy who's super capable and a guy uh, who's just as important as Task Force 141. Um, but as far as the level's concerned, um, you know, this, I, I got a shout out to, to IW, you know, this was tr a tremendous collaboration across all of the, the different uh, disciplines. As you saw, everybody coming together, some really uh, motivated devs here. And, uh, you know, you saw the, the wind and the uh, animations and the awesome sound design. And of course, our new water tech, which is actually pushing the boat in different directions. It's creating a physically dynamic environment, allowing for the cover you were seeing. In certain cases, you could be behind cover, and then suddenly that cover would shift and leave you exposed. But it also leaves the enemy exposed, creating this emergent gameplay. Um, so again, I'm, I'm very excited. Just can't wait. That I'm so excited that we get to show it off today. And that's just a hint of where things are going to go. Uh, Johanna, tell us a bit about Call of Duty overall, Modern Warfare 2. Obviously, you know, we're so excited that it's back this year. But you've got yep. lots going on across Call of Duty. What can we expect from you guys this year? Yeah, we, um, first of all, thanks for having us here. We're just so excited for October 28th. It's such a big moment, not just for Modern Warfare 2 and everything that Jeff and the team at Infinity Ward have built, but it really marks the step change, what we're calling a transformational moment for the entire franchise. 
you're going to see incredible rendering, incredible graphics, all the things just within the game of itself course. built all on one Naturally. chip now across Warzone and Modern Warfare 2 going forward. Of course, there's mm -hmm. a lot of chatter and interest about the new Warzone experience. We're yeah. unfortunately calling it Warzone 2.0. Um, there will be um, a standalone experience of Warzone for current existing um, players as well. So we're going to sort of feed okay. the community there. But so there's going to be two Warzones? Um, the original and yeah, a new the one? collaboration's just been incredible. Everybody's mm. so excited for Task Force Waterfall Interesting. Um, okay. Warzone coming to mobile as well for players on the go. We're, we're on Steam, as you know. I mean, so yeah. it's just a big moment, and there's going to be a lot more to come. Yeah, Steam, that, that, that's, that's a big one for well, sure. Before we, we leave, we can ask a, big a little one. bit about Warzone 2. I know we just, you know, we're showing gameplay here on this, but can you tell us anything? There was a little bit, it seems like there was a little bit of a tease maybe in the trailer yesterday. Well. Yeah, when we're seeing that from the community, we love when the fans can pick up some things, um, some chatter about maybe seeing high rise and, and other elements, but we will get into the details of Warzone 2.0 for sure. It will be an extension of the Modern Warfare 2 universe, so all the more reason why we think this game this moment is, is such an important uh, title for all of us looking looking ahead and like we said we're mm -hmm. having a bold vision around the entire future for the franchise that's so gonna be a two-year call of duty thank goodness that's good right, well we're looking forward to october thanks so much for giving us a first look at the gameplay call of duty first call of duty i've looked forward to since modern warfare yeah. one um, all right well we've got lots more summer game fest still to go and now it's time to announce a yeah. classic pc gaming franchise is coming back with a sequel over 30 years after its first release I loved this mm. game when I was growing up, so I'm honored to share this very first look. I would have no clue. I mean, especially if it's something I never played from back in the day. I mean, yeah, if that's, yeah. Wouldn't know, I don't think. Unless that's what it used to look like or something, and they're going through... I don't know. Is this the new one? I have no idea, because I don't know what it is, because I've never played it. Flashback 2. Alright, well, that's, uh... Nothing that hits me, but... Some people out there probably uh, All right, let's turn back like time. it. Back in 2017, we announced Witchfire at the Game Awards. Almost five years later, Witchfire. I am so excited that the team at the Astronauts in Poland has put together an in-depth look at the gameplay of this dark fantasy that long ago? shooter, which will enter early access soon. I am so excited to play this. FPS? I bet you will be hmm. too after you see this. World Premiere. Wait a minute, I feel like I remember this. It was just a long time ago. So far it's just generic. But he's just shooting, so. And it is an FPS. Okay, got some cool abilities there. Hmm. Looks a little quick. I feel like I remember this when it was revealed a long time ago. Oh, that was kind of cool. There's like a bell up there. It's pretty cool. It's like an interesting, like, medieval demonic type thing. Not demonic, but not, that's not the word I'm looking for. But, uh, uh they're like hell demons or something I don't know I don't know what kind of vibes it gives me but hmm looks interesting cool looking big enemy okay witch fire fitting title early access soon hmm Oh, it's gonna be an epic. Yeah. 
Okay, next up comes an ambitious new game from a new independent studio in Europe starring some very familiar names. Enjoy this world premiere new game announcement. It's an indie game, okay. Let's see if it can be something I'm, that's cool that I'm interested in. Officer Taylor Medlog, 29. Never know with indie titles. Hey, uh, Times it could hit you, some kind, sometimes it won't. Now we're starting to see more games, though. Solis, everything okay in there? Definitely a higher budget indie game, it looks like. It's an independent studio, so. Assuming that'd be indie, right? I don't know. Something is going on here. And I need to find out what it is. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Troy Baker's in it. That's cool. That's There's Troy Baker. New. Okay. And look who it is. Troy and Roger in person. Guys, uh, this is so fun. The fact that you're working on a game together. What a cool team up. Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, Good to be here. I got to ask you guys, uh, who are your characters in this game? Well, uh, I get to play a character named Wyatt Taylor, who's a medical officer who's stationed at this uh, base, Fort Solace. And that's the episode uh, of this okay. that we'll discover and uncover as we go through the game. And of course, my character will be at times in opposition with. Roger's character. Battle we've been waiting So far, for the majority. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I um, can't wait to show you what we've been working on. And by the way, Jeff, this looks awesome. Street Fighter man. 6 so great to be here. would Thanks, be my favorite announcement. It's, it's so great that you're in another game. With Guile. I mean, it's feeling. This is your first game. And then, uh... One of the first major ones for a while. And I play a character. And then it'd be Modern Warfare 2. And then, uh, the game I keep forgetting the name of, the Made by the Dead Space people. Which we got gameplay on, which is pretty cool. Graveyard shift meeting Mars and Earth are really far apart from each other and their orbits around the sun. So help is not a simple call away. Uh, I gotta ask, I, I think a lot of people will see this thing and they'll probably wonder, you know, it's a new team, right? Uh, new, you know, independent studio in Europe that's making this, but with huge production values. I'm curious, like, how did you guys get attached to this? Tell us a bit about the background. I, I will say that 2020 to me was the most impactful year for games. It was the first, I mean, obviously we had this unprecedented event with the pandemic and that forced the way that we looked at everything as a society, but also the way this industry functioned. But it was also brand new consoles. We had more tools that were being made available that were leveling the playing field between like the AAA studios and the indie studios or the AAA studios. And so, just like anybody else, we got reached out. Uh, James Tinsdale with this brand new studio said, we'd like for you to uh, consider being a part of this game. And he walked me through a very brief description of what the experience was going to be like. And, and the very uh, beginning, he said, well, we want this to I feel, mean, it's, a, it's a tight thriller. We want Troy, Troy Baker is always a great actor. Meets, just uh, Duncan Jones Moon. And I was like, I don't think this is a game into that. Absolutely. that might be, Full that might not be for me. So, ah, yeah. Absolutely. New studio, but they didn't show energy, much other than a cinematic. So get to work with who knows? The best of the business. And me. I get the privilege Who's the of other? getting to see this guy and watch him in action. Uh, I know I love to work and I love the challenges and all the new innovations that this medium provides to performers. We can't wait to show you what we've been working on. Yeah. I think it's going to knock Yeah, I guess I've seen some of the behind the scenes mm -hmm. and the performance capture on Real Engine 5. We'll see. I mean, this is, it looks absolutely phenomenal. Can you give us a hint about the, the gameplay? Like, what are we going to do in this game? Yeah. The verbs are always important. So we're going to let the game speak for itself. We'll be showing you more later on. But uh, this is a game where you as the player, you're going to be exploring. We're going to be discovering. Like we said, it's a very tight. Got yeah, Troy so Baker for an independent studio game. That's world. There'll be multiple locations, multiple ways for you pretty cool. to traverse, which we're excited to show you about. Uh, and then the the narrative He's is very talented, this. Uh, super they, talented they didn't dude. Waste, uh, any, That's for sure. Any resources on the the performance for sure. I got to tell one quick story. Yeah. Definitely and, one of um, my one favorite, of favorite moments. Video game actors, um, no doubt. There is a lot of action in this game, and that was at the the, okay. the forefront of this. And to speak to the performance capture aspect, we brought in an incredible, i got to give him a shout out, uh, to Nathaniel, our stunt coordinator, who walked us through and really approached this in a completely different way than anything I've ever done before. And he says, I want to know the story of this fight. 
And so Roger and I sat down, we said, these are where our characters are, and he goes, give me one hour and I will come back to you with the story of this fight. And after an hour, he comes to us and he goes, it was like a, like a recovery program, it was 12 steps. And he walked us through this incredible fight. And I was, I, about halfway out, uh, halfway through, I started tuning him out. And I was like, hey man, I just want to let you know, I've got no ego about this, but I can do a lot of things, but I, I can't do this. And he grabbed me by my shoulders and he says, oh, you can, you will, and it's going to be glorious. We did. And we it's did. It's like a dance. There was a lot of trust, and it worked out. Yeah, I mean, we're we excited. Big about stunts. It. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, this is so cool to see. Is it an independent studio doing this? Teaming up with you guys. We can't wait to see more. Troy, Roger, thanks for joining us here. Happy to be here. Thank you. Fest. All right, appreciate it very much, guys. All right. Well, next up, keeping up with the space theme, it's time to world premiere a very exciting new game, which will feature a musical score by industry legend Mick Gordon. This one is going to grab you, and we are so honored. Mick they Gordon! I like. He does Doom. I like that a lot. His soundtracks are insane, man. So what are we looking at here? You just, you just got me interested just by saying Mick Gordon. The moon. What is this going to be? Mick Gordon's got heavy metal music, so what are we looking at here? It's got to be something crazy. It has to be if you're getting Mick Gordon. It has to be. Because he does, like, crazy heavy metal. Was that a robot? Is that a, like, camera gun thing? V8... What? Okay. That's a robot. A robot alien. I don't even know. What the heck? Oh! Oh, it's a robot alien. Thing. I... Oh, okay. Routine. Lunar software. Next raw theory. Okay. Doesn't oh. that look great? That was routine coming to Xbox and PC. It was first announced. I don't like know what to make of it. Ago, and is now officially back. I, I don't know what to make of it. To see more. I just know now Mick Gordon's doing the music, so that's cool. Very special guest who's been in his fair share of video games, including most recently Fortnite as the foundation. Oh boy. Dwayne Johnson. Welcome to Summer Game Fest. How are you? He would be there. What's up, everybody? Well, he's What's at the gym. Oh, well. And what is up to the Summer Game Fest audiences live streaming right now around the world and everybody inside the epic I'm Introducing Max Dwayne Johnson here. John Cena to Fortnite. Um, Iron Paradise, <laughs> the very hot I don't freaking know. sweaty and smelly Iron Paradise. Uh, powered by, of course, Zoa Energy, the number one fastest growing energy. Are you really advertising right now? You guys of course. know me uh, by a lot of nicknames. The Rock, La Roca. In All right, video Spanish. games. Uh, Uncle Handsome, Sexiest Man Alive, uh, Big Drink Energy. Always room for a cheesy joke. There's always room for the extra large cheese pizza, especially when I'm delivering and I deliver them often. Uh... You guys also know me as the oh, greatest and most electrifying surprise in gaming that happened. You know me oh, as the okay. foundation. Mm -hmm. And I got to tell you guys, uh, number one, thank you so much for the crazy response of me becoming the foundation. But also, I got to say that, you know, I've had such a pleasure uh, working with um, Epic Games. Are they going to show us some uh, Fortnite stuff? Over there, and we cannot wait to show you what we have in store for the future. And speaking of the future, in the future, you will also know me as Black Adam. Black Adam, well, yeah. millions of you know around the world who know the Black Adam mythology. He is ruthless. He is unstoppable. But this is a know, movie. This is a game show for games. Uh, Black Adam has the powers of Superman. But the only difference, well, there's a few differences. But one of the biggest differences is Superman's weakness is magic. And Black Adam's, one of his superpowers is magic. So you do the math. Uh, October 20th. Are you teasing Henry coming back? You guys to see Black Adam Please. Around the world in theaters only. Please just you guys will bring back Henry Cavill. Cavill, however you say it. Change. 
Uh, As Superman, I know it's rumored. Adam, and it was a, it is a role that's in my DNA and that I was born to play. I was born to play the man. Uh, and I'm honored to show We need Henry back. October 21st. That's all I can say. So until then, uh, stay healthy, stay safe, stay focused, keep having fun, keep kicking ass, uh, enjoy your gaming, and I'll see you down the road. And of course they had to put the rock in there are they really advertising the black adam movie on a game show right now look i get nothing but hurting i hate when they do this like look the movie looks great but like we've all seen this trailer there's no need for them to show movie trailers in a game show uh, it just takes up time man it looks great, okay? But we've seen the trailer. Hmm. It wasn't even for Fortnite. Like, if it was for Fortnite, it'd be like, okay, that's gaming. But they have to show, they have to advertise Black Adam during Summer Game Fest, of course, because, you know. It'd be different, I guess, if the trailer was, if this was a world premiere trailer, but no, it's not like it was anyway. But since a lot of people are watching, and, uh,. Jeff Keighley needs to get paid more money. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I just. It, I just don't like them showing movies and game shows or TV advertisements or any of that stuff. You know. I don't get it. Is this an ad break or what? Outriders, whatever. Showing new stuff. I don't. I. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't play Outriders. If it's even out, I. I'm pretty sure it is. I, you, you got me. I don't think they showed that whole Black Adam trailer anyway. They like skipped parts of it or something, but I don't know. You got me. I always make these kind of trailers like very cinematic, which makes them look really cool and I get it. I mean it makes more people wanna play player games, so uh, I don't know. Got me. Yeah, I can tell this is uh, no doubt a long show today. Collide. So far, really only one thing really excited me, and that was Guile for Street Fighter Six. I want something else to hit me, but like I said, I mean, well, I didn't say, but I mean, I'm open and I'm I'm in with lower expectations right now, so switch. So this is all advertising. This is coming soon. It's probably Mario. Oh well, no, excuse me, three. Yeah, this is ad break. It's gonna rise on break. The Cuphead thing looks uh, cool, but I never finished. The Capcom Fighting Collection that. Definitely is something that I'm interested in getting. Xenoblade. Didn't even put Mario Strikers in there, but that's out this literally tomorrow. Ah, it's a Fall Guys ad. I don't know why I was in Fortnite. Mm. Good old advertisement breaks. Maybe I'll cut this out. I might cut this out. I mean, I don't. It's just an ad break, so like, I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoa. That was 
so fun to see Courage and Ray in that Fall Guys piece, and you can play and download Fall Guys for free starting June 21st across all mm -hmm. platforms, including Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PC, and PlayStation. All right, back to another new game announcement. We're going to announce a brand new game and universe from a new team of legendary developers. Check this out. Legendary developers. Okay. Frost Giant Studios. What all did they make? I don't know. I'm not sure. But call me curious, as usual. For whatever they want to show. Discovery, this is command. Storm is in your way. Prepare for extraction. Signal's breaking up. Command, I'll do one last scan. See you soon. Over. Interesting. Now we're talking. Command, I may be on to something. Oh. Hmm. I have it, command. Repeat, I have it. Hmm. Accomplished. That sounded really quiet. Don't know what to make of this. Just a neat cinematic trailer. Boom. Explosion. Glad you could make it. We gotta move. Now. Storm coming. Clearly. Hell's coming with it. Stormgate. Ah, it got me. Beta. Hmm. So what? A multiplayer game? No. Oh. Stormgate.com. Hmm. Yeah, you got me. There you have it, Tim. Congratulations. Stormgate He's is gonna real talk about it. name and okay. some details. Uh, so, first hmm. of all, congratulations on this announcement. We're so excited about the return of RTS, oh. brand new uh, franchise. What is a Stormgate, though? <sighs> all right, so Stormgates are portals that open during a massive solar storm that unleash the infernal host on future Earth. Okay. Uh, and we saw some cases. Uh. Right? I mean, you know, you guys coming from Blizzard and StarCraft, everyone wants to know about Rick's Getting bored. And, uh, you know, tell us about the sides in this RTS. Getting bored. Yeah, we're unveiling our first two board. factions. Not gonna lie, there will be more. Uh, so the human resistance, and we still had I like game reveals and stuff, but in that I don't know. Intro cinematic, uh, and then also the Guile was exciting. Um, like and I knew Modern Warfare Two was gonna show something, and I mean, I it looks good. You know, know looks kind of like the first game, of, which is know, expected. Where do you want to push the RTS genre? It's something we've all loved for decades, but you know, opportunity for a lot of innovation. Um, I know you're going to show us. I think. I mean, I don't know what all my expectations. Go I mean, wise with the actual gameplay made in Unreal. I, I don't know what all I expected to see anyway. Do for the gameplay in this game. I'm just here for the games, Absolutely. you know. I, but the first thing I want to say here for the announcements. We are very consciously trying to stay true to what players already love about RTS. Um, where we're really trying to push the genre and be innovative. <sighs> first off, approachability. <sighs> um, for one thing, we're free to play, uh, but no win, no <coughs> team, nothing like that. Um, oh. Just to 
lower that barrier to entry to get players in. But we're also really trying to be a lot more social. Um, so you'll be able to play the campaign cooperatively. We've got three-player open-ended co-op. Um, and we've even got three versus three for competitive multiplayer. But so yeah, it's a multiplayer game. Okay. still got 1v1 competitive. Okay. And as a little surprise, so it's a competitive first kind of work in multiplayer thing. Uh, from okay. The game, right? Yeah, so I was like, open beta, okay, still, uh, makes sense. Put some shots of, uh, For it to be... Wow, well, I, I love it. Now, it's an Unreal Engine 5, that's cool. People can sign up now, get ready, and this I'm is just a... so thrilled that there is Skyview? a brand new RTS 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, whatever. We're so mm. excited about this team, Frost Giant. Uh, oh, okay, so well, it's Blizzard-related. Gotcha, that. that makes Thank sense. Thank you so much for having us here, really great. Awesome. All right. Or, no, Giant, not Blizzard. Stormgate. It's Frost Giant. Now mm -hmm. it's time for another indie game announcement that I'm excited to share with you. High Water. Check this one out. High Water. Good morning, High Water Dwellers. High Water Pirate Radio keeping you in the know with Outflow. Alphaville authorities continue to deny false rumors that Alphaville elites are planning to evacuate. Am I about to lay back again? Sure not. The one thing we can't deny is that the world ended on a sunny day. Yeah, I'm gonna lay back. Oh. Yep. Mm, nothing for me. That's for sure. Not into these kind of indie games. Some people might like it, but not for me. Just chilling on a boat. They're just chilling on a boat. Yeah, no. Ah. The beginning of the show started pretty strong, though. I'll say that. All right. Ugh. What a breathtaking trailer. High Water is an adventure strategy game set in a world ravaged by extreme climate change. Now, speaking of the world around us, the conflict in Ukraine is not far from anyone's mind, and it's impacted mm -hmm. the development of games, including Replaced from Sad Cat Studios, a Belarusian studio with devs from Belarus and Ukraine. The team had long hoped to reveal a new trailer here today, but we're understandably unable to complete it in time. Guys, I just want to say Understandable. thinking of you and all the developers impacted by the conflict mm -hmm. and hope to be able to share your work at a future show. All right, our next game is an official selection of the Tribeca Games Festival. It's American Arcadia, where you play Trevor, whose life is being televised with the viewing population constantly voting you up or down. When you become unpopular, you huh? need to start running for your life. Check this out. Picture a city where technology and science go hand in hand with fun and entertainment. My grandfather, Elijah Walton. I feel like Max is spinning his chairs right now. I, I, I feel like I feel like reality. he's spinning his chairs and right now. Is like like I, I, I mean I don't know but like. <laughs> a 43 square mile <laughs> metropolis where each uh, and every know. citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort. Broadcast live 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on every digital platform. American Arcadia. Control. Subject on the run on camera 4025. Interrupt mm. broadcast immediately. Listen to me. We can't allow <laughs> Trevor Hills to escape okay. under any circumstances. Trevor. Trevor, can you hear me? Be careful and don't make a sound. Don't worry. I'm going to get you out of there. <sighs> hmm. Tell me soon to PC and console. Hmm. Apparently we've made it to the beach. 
Next up is a sequel we've all been anticipating for a long time. There's trouble in paradise, and watch out, you don't want to get bitten. After many years of rumors, we finally get an update on this much anticipated sequel. Is this Dead Island 2? Is this Dead Island 2? We've been waiting years! We've been waiting so long! Dude, we've waited so freaking long for this game! Is it? Is it Dead Island 2? I swear it is. This is like the other trailer. It is. Wait. No way. <laughs> you freaking got me. Are you kidding me? You freaking got me. <laughs> they literally are they trolling right now. This is the Dead Island 2 trailer, but Ghost Simulator? Are you kidding me? Did they really just troll me that hard? They really just troll hard. They just trolled so freaking hard, dude. <laughs> oh, people are upset. Three, whatever, I don't know. Oh my god. You got me. You got me. You got me, I really... I, I honestly thought it'd be Dead Island too. Now, Man, last year, Marvel and 2K and got me good. Midnight Sun. Got me good. RPG from Colossus Games, the studio behind XCOM. Dang, man. Heroes from the Avengers and X-Men crossover with supernatural ones like. Blade I'm not interested in the gameplay for this, but the trailer was cool. So. Mother of demons. Today, we've got to look at some new folks set to join the battle. The trailer was cool, so I mean, I I'm down for a new Marvel trailer. I, I mean, I don't know if there's music copyright. I would hope not. But, I mean, I can just talk over it regardless to try and hope that uh, there shouldn't be any copyright. But, I mean, I mean, it's a game show. A lot of people are reacting to it and uploading. Oh, Venom? That's sick. That is sick. That's really cool. Venom's got to be in everything nowadays, Marvel, because he's gotten so big. He's gotten so popular. As a character at this point. Thanks to having two movies. Venom's like a, a fan favorite at this point. Like a big fan favorite. See, Midnight Suns, like, like its cinematics are incredible. But I don't know if the gameplay is for me. Maybe I'll just watch the story online or something, you know? Wow. They're spidey, cool. Typical Parker luck. I'm gonna need some backup. Oh my oh my gosh. Oh, I thought there was gonna be like a bunch of Spider-Man. Okay. Just another cool cinematic for the game. They might show gameplay. I don't know. That's a sick looking suit though. For sure. Da, 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 da. Yep. There we go with the music. Yep. Um, our Midnight Suns people. I, I mean, I don't know if they'd be copyright. I think there is if there's more than a certain amount of seconds. But I, I'm talking over it anyway, so it don't matter. Oh, look at that Venom. Okay, that's really cool. That Venom. Oh, they turned Hulk into one of them. Wow. That's pretty cool. That Venom was sick looking though. Doctor Strange Defender's skin. This body looks so cool. That used to always work. Venom did that one time. Or Hulk. Venom. I think that was Venom. That was Midnight Cuphead. Suns, and now we're moving on to the wonderful world. People have been of waiting Cuphead, for this. The delicious last course. Cuphead DLC. Can you believe it? We're only a couple weeks away 
from playing the Delicious Last Course DLC. You see how they did that for Cuphead. Joining me now is Maya Maldenhauer from Studio MDHR. So first of all, Maya, it's really coming? It's really coming June 30th on all major platforms. We are thrilled. Well, I'm so thrilled, too, that uh, I think all the fans can't believe that this is here. And I've been yeah. lucky enough to play this actually on my Steam Deck uh, last week. And you guys gave me a copy. This, I, I can't. People are not going to be ready for how amazing this looks and the backgrounds and what you guys have done. I feel like you've, you've oh, of amped course. up, obviously, the gameplay. It's difficult, as we would expect. Man, that Dead Island thing. Is Dead Island 2 ever really going to come out? Yeah, we absolutely they got me there. Turned it into Ghost level. Simulator 3. Really honed our That's craft. funny. Took everything to the next level from animation, the backgrounds, the music, gameplay design. The silly content um, people are going to make on that game, too. Miss Chalice. I'm very proud of her. Chalice is fun to play as, and, and even though this is a DLC, it feels like it's its own game inside. Of That's good. Yeah. It is. It is. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, you just get, get on the island, and, and there you are off to this new uh, new territory. People have been waiting a long time for this yeah, DLC. Bosses, lots of long time. Um, don't let any rock go unturned. Yes, and lots of challenge ahead. Well, I know you brought. I, I know you want. You don't want people to necessarily ha have too much spoiled about the game, but you brought a little something. For a little tonight. something, yeah. It's a uh, brand new cool. gameplay footage of one of our new bosses, Mortimer Freeze. It takes cool. place in an icy arena, um, and features some of my personal favorite um, attacks and transformations. I still never finished the base game because it's so freaking it. hard. Right, check it out, Cuphead: The Delicious Last Course. Thanks, Maya. We're an hour in right now. Hour into the show. That's so cool, man. Oh, 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 sure. Oh! This is gonna get... Oh! Ooh. We're gonna die a lot. We're gonna die a lot. Oh. It's funny because I haven't finished the base game and I want to play this. Yeah, get him. Dang, man. Killed it. That looks good. Looks awesome. Now, if you want even more Cuphead, and who doesn't, tomorrow we will show you an exclusive look at season two of the Cuphead show, when I co-host Netflix's Geek Week. I still haven't watched new that show. show and game announcements. It streams at 10 a.m. Pacific. I still have not watched that. Easter. And that's not all. There's more Summer Game Fest all weekend long. Coming up next is the Day of the Devs Indie Showcase with I Am 8-Bit and Double Fine, then Devolver's Marketing Countdown to Marketing. Tomorrow after Geek Week, there is the Epic Game Store Showcase. We're not done yet, Eastern, right? 2 p.m. Eastern with news on Rocket League and the Tribeca Game Showcase. And Sunday, don't miss the Xbox and the that I'm not missing. Showcase with a look at the future of Xbox and Game I'll be Pass. reacting to that, too. Now we have some exciting news for Nintendo Switch and PC fans about Neon White, a game where you play an assassin from hell who slays demons for the chance to ascend to heaven. Neon White. Have I not heard of this? Jeez, talk about fast. What in the heck? We're called Neons. Sinners plucked from hell to do God's dirty work. But I'm finding it hard to believe we're in heaven. Okay, so this is like a speedrunner type. Uh, this is like, uh, wait a minute. The other game they made, I think I have. See them, Runners from Hell, or whatever it's called. I feel like this is made by them. It could be. It looks like it's got that vibe. It's made by them. June 16th. Nice. Nice. I know that was something there was people looking forward to. That's cool. That's a very soon. That's literally in a week. You lots of games today made by huge teams. Now it's time for a game made by a single father in Poland. Over the wow. past year, he's brought on some help to bring his vision 
for a fast-paced action game, Midnight Fight Express to life. Let's take a look. Made by one person. One person. That's so cool, dude. You know the saying, get knocked down, get up again, that whole spiel. It's amazing what one person can do, you know? It's time, partner. Time to rise up. Together. Like, it really is. That one person made this whole game. That's crazy. That's insane, dude. I hope a lot of people support this guy's game, man. Like, it doesn't look... It, personally, it doesn't look like something that, like, I'd play, but... I, ho I hope there's people out there who will love this. You know? For a game made by one person, I mean... That's pretty freaking cool. I could never do something like this. Well, actually, you can if you put your mind to it. Writer of Destiny 2, stuntman of God of War. Okay, so he had a little help for certain things. Hmm, neat. Okay. Such a cool game, and I'm happy to announce that a PC demo of this game is going live right now on Steam, and will be part of the Steam Next Fest next week. I really want more mm. playable games to get in the hands of you guys at home, and that's one Warframe? Of all right, joining me now. Warframe? Digital extremes to talk all things Warframe. I'm a big Warframe fan. Megan, how you doing? I'm a big Warframe so fan. My fellow Canadian. I know. We got like, it just happened to always have these Canadian Hi, Megan. teams on the show. I don't we know how that connection. works out, right? Okay. We do. Well, Warframe's never been on the show. With Warframe over the years, and I know right now anyone watching on Twitch for more than 30 minutes, this show is going to get a special Twitch drop, right? That's right. I already have seen people getting it, yes. so it's very exciting. She's right there. I already um, have Protea, Protea, so it's not a big deal. 30 minutes for watching. Thank you for letting us kind of take over oh. your special events category, but she is there and she is for you if you are properly linked up. No, Warframe, you know, as I said, we've done a lot over the years. You guys have done incredible things with the game, and I know you have TennoCon coming up in July, which mm -hmm. is your big kind yep. of event of the year to yep. reveal what's next. What, what can you tell us? Well, I can't tell too much, yeah. Um, but yeah, July 16th, 2022, it's a digital event again this year. Uh, today, actually, we just launched the digital items for it, so you can get some in-game goodies, some really cool cosmetics, some merch, all that really great stuff went live today. But of course, the reason I'm here yeah. is to, you know, kind of debut, we have our Tenno Live during TennoCon, which is our big reveal of the night and mm -hmm. we usually do a little bit of a, a gameplay a little bit of a demo and i think a lot of people can suspect what it might be yeah. but i'm here to kind of confirm what it is that tunnel live is going to show and what is that can i say it yes i think you can okay you're going to get your first look at the daviri paradox it's finally finally i know cool. i know it's been a couple of years cool cool uh, cool but daviri paradox is going to be what tunnel live is all about and i'm so cool, happy cool, cool. Uh, the team worked really hard on the teaser you're about to see for it, and I'm just a really teaser. Proud and excited to Give it to me. Awesome. Give it to me. Summer Game Fest. Let's take a look at that. Right Let's now. go. Give it to me. A trailer in war related to Warframe. My child, my friend, what was done is done. New dangers, new choices await us now. All right. Sick. Sick. I have Titania and Titania Prime, so. Guess I could get the Crescent Knight bundle. Though. I'll be watching it anyway. Next, it's time for a new look at Honkai Star Rail, an upcoming open no world clue. space RPG. No yeah, clue. Space today from Genshin Impact okay. Studio. Hoyer yeah, no clue what this is. And PC. This studio continues to deliver, and this new trailer reveals for the very first time a new and exotic realm players will be able to explore. 
<sighs> Alright, well, it's an anime game, so it could be something interesting. I mean, cool, I guess. I don't know. I don't normally play these, these kind of games. I love, I'm a big anime guy, but, like, I don't, I don't know. I just don't play much worth of uh, anime games, really. So, I mean, cool, I guess. I don't know. Doesn't hit me any. Okay, Star Rail. I mean, is this the same thing, or are we going into advertisements again? No, okay. Like, do we need another ad break? No, we don't. No, we, we really don't. And that's not all from Hoyoverse. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to Zenless Zone Zero, their next major new IP. It's a futuristic urban action game. I have to say I'm blown away by what I've seen so far. It was announced a couple weeks ago and it has the detail of Genshin Impact with a fast paced action style. Here is the world premiere of a brand new look at Zenless's notable characters, armed enemies, and world of danger. Hmm. Another one that probably won't really matter to me. The Hoyoverse make, do they make Genshin? Do they make Genshin? I don't know. I mean, the weapons look cool. These weapons look cool. Is it a multiplayer thing, or... If it's multiplayer, I, I might really catch my interest there. Defense Force. Yeah, I have no, I have no idea. Hack and slash? You got me. Fighting giant robots, basically. Oh, there's some smaller enemies. Oh, I know some people who will love this. I know some people who will love this. I don't know about me though. I don't know. I guess I don't know about a lot in this show. You got me. One of my turtles! Shredder's Revenge. Shredder's Revenge! Let's go! This reminds us all of the Turtles arcade games back in the day. Well, it's nearing the end of development, and the team wanted to use SGF as a way to reveal one exciting aspect of the game they've been keeping under wraps until now. Okay. This looks fun. I can't lie. It might be something I get. Oh, is Casey not revealed? Okay, that's cool. I like these kind of classic games. Classic fight, uh, side-scrolling fighter type games. They're fun. The arcade style stuff. They just were hiding Casey from being revealed. Six player mode. Ooh, oh, that's fun. That's fun. That's fun. And did it say online or local? I don't think any of my buddies will get this, but 
still, this is, this will be something fun to play with them when they're over. This looks fun. As long as it's like a $20 game or something, I don't know how much it's going to be. Looks good. It looks good. Mikey. No, that's not Mikey. That's Donatello. June 16th? That's a week from now. Cool. What? what? Going right in to the next thing? Okay. What are we seeing now? Um, what is happening? Come on, work. Give me one second. Cool, I lost internet connection during this. That's awesome. I had to reset my router and modem. All I missed was a little bit of a One Piece game, so it doesn't matter. There's not really much of a reaction to lose there, anyways. Is this in the quality? No, it's not. 1080, 60. In an okay. There we go. Wasn't much that was lost, so... I mean, whatever. Do I really have to go 720? I might have to. Because my internet's being stupid! Maybe it'll work now? Maybe. Okay. Yeah, I didn't miss much of anything, so. This August, Soul Hackers 2 from Atlas. So it's fine. And we've got your first listen to the English voice cast with this quick new look. But of course, they had to, you know, uh, go out like that. Speaking of, I want to know if we're gonna see. Wait, no, probably not here. Never mind. Uh, I'm thinking Nintendo Direct. <laughs> What is this? So much anime stuff they're showing right now. It's just anime after anime after anime stuff right now. I mean, okay, we're going, we're we're gonna go 720 because this is ridiculous. I'm not missing much of anything right now, anyways. Yep, I'm, it's working but not working. So that's cool. So that's our mission then. That's we were working just fine for over an hour and then all of a sudden we're having With so issues. Many games featured across SGF events, you might be wondering how to plan for your summer gaming dreams. Nerd Wallet can help you find the smartest credit card to reward your gaming purchases at nerdwallet.com. The Epic Mega Sale is going on right now. Save up to 75% <sighs> off top PC titles with an additional 25% off eligible products. And it wouldn't be the Mega Sale without the free games vault featuring Maneater. Be sure to claim your copy before the sale ends on June 16th. Tune into the Epic Games Store Twitch channel for our summer showcase on June 10th at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. We're taking a look at new announcements and updates from PC titles heading to the store this year and beyond. Mm, I don't care. You nuts. Ah. 
Mm. Stadium 2. That's cool. I guess. Hmm. It's all ads right now. Yay! Mar Mario Strikers. Yay. It's just an ad for it, though. So. I mean, that's not going to really be a game fest, I don't think. Uh, if anything, Jeff will just say this is coming tomorrow. Blah, blah, blah. Mario Strikers Battle League. Yeah. Only on Nintendo Switch. Game rated every Tomorrow, you know. Yep. I'm getting it. World premiere. Hi, my name is Carl and I'm a developer on Metal Hellsinger. You know how in some games where the music's really good, you feel compelled to move and shoot to the beat? But what if you had to? In metal, the better you are at slaying to the beat, the more intense everything gets. That theme C and might be making sounds. performances from legendary artists like Serge Tankian from System of Down. So while headbanging isn't mandatory, we do recommend it. Our demo is live <laughs> now on Steam, Xbox, and PlayStation platforms. So go check it out and slay to the beat. The Outsiders. Oh, this is that game I was interested in. Knock off of Doom. Outsiders. That might be something that I want to check out. That this might be something I'm into. Even if it's like a Doom knockoff, I don't care. It looks pretty freaking nutty. And I like I, I love Doom, so this might be something sick. It's not always uh not always using guns, so that's interesting, but it, for the most part it is, but it's got some different weapon stuff in there. They definitely took some inspiration from Doom 1000% absolutely for this game. Absolutely. They're probably big fans of Doom because it looks pretty nuts. Metal Hellslinger, yeah, or Hellslinger. Yeah. That uh, definitely has a lot of Doom vibes. The Outsiders. Oh, infinite. Okay. That one was Metal Hellsinger coming later this year from Funcom, a rhythm shooter with metal music. And right now, as they mentioned, a demo rhythm shooter. On PC, what? Xbox, and PlayStation for you to play for free. I'll check out the demo. Next up. A new game launches tomorrow, The Quarry from Supermassive Games. This spiritual successor to Until Dawn stars David Arquette and an all-star cast. It's getting great reviews, and this is one of those binge-worthy teen horror entertainment experiences where your every choice shapes your story and determines... Oh, well, if it comes out tomorrow, it's not nothing that I care about because I wouldn't know. Here's the first so. look at the launch trailer. Family is the most important thing in the world. But if your whole family, you know, like every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well and they're all just hanging on the end of a rope, how can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. But you pull on that rope and you just can fall right down to the bottom of the well with the rest of them. Yeah, huh? Mm -hmm. What's the point of that? Mm. What? There is a lot more to this than you realize. What? What? Kidnapping, murder, cover. Oh yeah, I heard I about this. The family is in on it. You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. All right, let's do this. Um. Who should I call? Yeah. This is uh. 91? Who says ninety-one-one? Not um. We gotta get out. I'm gonna enjoy watching you die. I think this is another one of those games like uh. This isn't a ghost story. It's a creature. Um, it's really happening, and you're all in it. 
is gonna get a little what messy. call it. Not Friday the 13th, but the other one. That's like the main one everybody plays. Them's the rules, you I don't know. Hmm. Back at the Game Awards, we were proud to reveal Nightingale, a shared world survival crafting game from Inflection Games up in Canada. Ugh. Now it's time to give you a brand new look and deeper look at the game, including its innovative realm card system that lets you impact things like the weather pattern, resources, and challenges in its procedural realms. Here is your exclusive new look. You're alone in the realms, I'm afraid. The portals are a mess. Not even sure if Nightingale made it. Given how fragile you humans are, I'd say that staying fed, dry, and rested should be your priority. If the portal arch is inactive, you'll need to make realm cards from rare resources. Once you have realm cards, you can activate the portal. Beware the foul things uh. lurk in the interrupt void. Whoa, man. Be ready with your axe pick. So far, this show um ain't that great. Been a couple cool things, but I don't know. Dead Island 2 would have been great, but you know. Go Simulator 3, mm, you know. Good joke. They got me. I'll tell you that much. Um, so trying it because he said try not to get bitten. But you know, Jeff decided to make a joke about it, so whatever. And that metal whatever looks kind of nuts and might be actually fun. If these shadows have a thing, that might actually be something fun. I'm gonna have to try the the demo for that. And all is mended. You got me on that. I don't know. Probably nothing for me. Nothing I'm really interested in. The Saints are marching in on Saints Row. Saints okay, people have Saints been wanting to see this. Last year at Gamescom, and today we're happy to announce the launch of the Boss Factory demo across PC and console, which lets you design a demo. Your character. And since it's Saints Row, you guys are going to have a lot of fun with this one. Check it out. This is the demo. A Saints Row demo. Okay. You got to do something to capture people's attention. So what do we build next? So you get a little bit of a demo for it. Okay. Oh my gosh, really? Of course. You get to customize, do you get to customize your junk? I don't know. They would show it though, okay, whatever. This is perfect dinner and a show, baby. <sighs> oh, jeez, wow. <laughs> huh. Oh, my God. I don't know if this is just like for the, de the no, there's no. This ain't all demo. Or maybe, maybe that is all just the demo. If it is, that's pretty nuts. Yeah, that's pretty nuts. Wow. Okay. It's on epic. I can download it on PlayStation though, or Xbox. Maybe I'll try it. I don't know. 
Next, we've got Warhammer 40K. First look at extended gameplay of Warhammer 40K Dark Tide, Fat Shark's follow-up to the critically acclaimed Vermintide series. Dark Tide promises intense four-player co-op action and terrifying enemy hordes to team up against. And it's our out on September Not into Warhammer. 15th for PC on Steam and exclusively on console on Xbox. Not into Warhammer, so it doesn't matter to me. Is this for for Warhammer? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. Uh, I know I keep yawning, but I mean, I woke up a few hours ago. I guess it's just because this show isn't like exciting me much. Not much as like. Wait a minute. This is different. This ain't their normal Warhammer. What? This ain't w what I, I th was expecting, though, at all. Is this related to Warhammer? I have no idea. Okay. This is completely different than what I was expecting. Whoa! Okay. Hor big hordes of enemies? Hmm. This could be something. Oh, <laughs> what? <sighs> Why are we only so much today? That's different for Warhammer. That's very different. Wow. That is very, very different for Warhammer. Bloomer team is known for psychological horror games. Their like fears will Witch return. Media. Today, yeah, I'm not a big horror guy. Latest creation made completely in Unreal Engine 5 for like for crazy a horror. horror experience. It's returned to the world of layers of fears. Get a dose of this Someone once said insanity runs Yeah, I can already tell this thing something I'm going to be able to play. Uh-uh. Nope. I'm not into that crazy horror stuff. I like horror action and stuff, but in action games that have a little more horror than action and stuff, but horror only That's going too far for me. I just can't I'm not a big horror person for both movies and games. I just can't really do it. So that's no from me. Psychedelic horror. I see it. Whatever. All this misery. All this suffering. There was no other it's something that people are probably gonna love that are into horror genre games like heavy horror. You really shouldn't have. It's made on Real Engine 5, that's cool. Gotham Knights arrives. 
Batman uh. is dead, and it's up to the Batman family, Batgirl, Nightwing, Red Hood, and Robin, to protect Gotham. To give us an exclusive new look, let's head to Montreal to hear from executive producer Fleur Marty. This game still doesn't hit it just doesn't hit me the way that I thought it Hello would. And warm welcome from WB Games Montreal. I'm Fleur Marty. I'm the executive producer on Gotham Knights. Today we are thrilled to share more with you on one of our beloved knights, Nightwing. This showcase is the first in our character series, and we're really looking more forward Nightwing? to share more with you. Where's more we Batgirl or our Robin? On October 25th. So I hope you enjoy this. We've seen a lot of Nightwing and Red Hood not that long ago. I don't know. It's just not doing it for me for some reason. You know? It's not. It's just not. I had nothing, and then this city became my home. I mean, it releases, it's like, literally three days before Call of Duty anyway, so... Yeah, no, I'm getting my word for two over this. And I'm more of a single-player guy, even though it's co-op, but... It's just... Eh. It just ain't doing it for me. I enjoyed the Arkham games and stuff, but... I don't know. Oh, that's different. Um, but yeah. No matter how hard we try, there's always more to do. And now, it's up to me. A bunch of different looks, I gotcha. Hmm. This is just a trailer to show off customization, I guess. More or less. I don't know. Got this, Bruce. Bruce might not even be dead. I might find him by the end of the game. Who knows? It's just not a game I'd want to play pay full price for. Maybe like twenty bucks or something, you know. That was Gotham Knights, and now we welcome Oh, look who it is. Neil Druckmann. Oh Naughty boy. Dog, uh, co president of Naughty Dog. Last of Us uh, remake, right? Neil, it's been a uh, an eventful Last day on the remake. internet for Naughty Dog fans, and uh, I think we jinxed ourselves. We were joking about last night, like, watch the ass assets leak, and yes. lo and behold, that's what happened. Well, the good news is there's some stuff that hasn't leaked that we have lots to share. Last was two multiplayer? Uh, all things at Naughty Dog, but Please? first of all, it is a, you know, it's a big month, actually, for Last of Us fans, because uh, Last of Us 1 and 2 both launched in June, and it's nearing its two-year anniversary for Last of Us uh, Part 2, which is, is hard to hard to believe. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, um, you know, nine years for Last of Us One, two years for Last of Us Part Two, and we still hear from fans. They're still sending us letters and art, and these characters in this journey and this world means so yeah. much. Yeah, um, Last of Us Two. And it's it's just been kind of amazing. Like Last of Us eh. Part Two, early this year, passed a pretty big milestone and sold over 10 million units. And that kind of support, that kind of success, um, we're so grateful to our fans. Second half and was just. To grow as a studio, and now I don't know, they could have done better with the story, projects, but whatever. More than we've ever had at the same time projects okay very interesting so uh what can last of us last of us fans expect in the future from you thank you for asking jeff yes. uh so one of the things we've mentioned a while back is what started out as a multiplayer mode has evolved yes into the team's ambition they really wanted to do something yes beyond what we've ever done before with naughty dog yes we felt the way to do it justice is to make it a standalone title and over the they've been working on it for the past two years Ambition has grown. Last of Us multiplayer not, title? Ready to fully unveil it, but ready to lift the current a little bit and just give you like an update of where we're at. It's okay, a separate well, title. Uh, what can you tell us about this new standalone multiplayer game? Yeah, so uh, we have a concept that's art good. that we want to show. Yeah. Um, that's good. Uh, but what, what I can tell you Whoa. is that this game is big. Okay. Um, it's as big it's as a as separate any of title. Games that we've done, and in some ways bigger. That's it's got a story. That's awesome. Um, the way we're telling that story is very unique to this game. Through the uh, multiplayer. It's got a brand new cast of characters that takes place at another place, uh, another part of the United States. It's like a city might be somewhat familiar to some people. I'm sure our fans have already figured it out. Um, uh, and it's, it's, it's really cool. And it's being headed by Vinith Agarwal, um, Anthony Newman, and uh, Joe Pantone. Well, that's good. A Last of Us multiplayer of game is, is a good That's a good thing. I think that's a better idea, honestly. Okay, well, very exciting that uh, this has evolved, and I mean, that concept art looks incredible. I can't wait to see Naughty Dog storytelling fused with multiplayer live game. Yeah. It's, it's something special. I, we can't wait to show it either. 
Okay, well, um, that's not all. We also have something that I've been reading about on the internet every day, it feels like, up in Calgary. <laughs> there's the remake. Last of Us show for HBO, right? Oh, yeah. That, yeah, yeah, so uh, for the past year, um, you know, we've teamed up with Craig Mazin of Chernobyl fame and HBO to adapt The Last of Us into a TV, uh, TV show. Um, they've been filming, and uh, it's pretty incredible. The stuff I'm getting back, when we're looking at back at Naughty Dog, we can't help but feel emotional because not only is it so good and the quality is so high, it's mm. so authentic to what we've made in the game. Well, it's um, HBO, and, so HBO does tend uh, to have some better I, stuff I than be proud of, like, again, something such as uh, up there. Paramount Plus. Uh, and they're actually their last day of filming. Like Halo? So the entire series, last day, last day of filming is tomorrow. Last day of filming is tomorrow. Craig is up there right now, kind of uh, wrapping it all up. Uh, so it's it's pretty close. It's closer than you might think. And you actually got to direct one of the episodes? Yes, uh, I think that really speaks to the kind of collaboration and trust that exists between Naughty Dog and HBO. They invited me to direct one of the episodes. Um, I think we have an image from the episode I actually directed. Ooh, um, it's a leaked image. Oh, no, that's not leaked. <laughs> so wow. you can see uh, this is a certain museum that yep. players might know from the game um and i really have to talk about pedro pascal and bella ramsey and not only directing them but seeing them do all the other episodes they've thrown themselves at these roles um for a whole year watching the nuance that they bring to these characters their relationship on and off camera i couldn't help but think about troy baker and ashley johnson it felt so similar to the chemistry those two actors had when we made the game um and it really feels like this is going to be something special and uh, i will say this will be the mm. most authentic video yeah. game adaptation yet well i mean that mm. first image that they put out it just i mean it feels like the video we'll game see. i've seen both public and other stuff makes it feel sort we'll of see. super legitimate you said and that's awesome to see uh joel and ellie from from the front side now for the first time um so we'll see more of that at next year that's coming as well right serious uh you'll hear about it very soon that's, that's okay i'll say right now all right well last of us hbo very very could exciting. come out this year uh, and I hear you actually have a couple actors from the show who are uh, going to join we us here. We happen to have a couple actors here that are part of the show. We should bring them up. Okay, come on up. Oh, what's up, guys? Ah. Hello. Surprise. Tro Troy's back again. Hello, Ashley. Good oh, to hi. see you. Good to see you. Uh, I'm a little confused, though. I, I thought maybe Pedro Bella, but Troy Ashley out here uh, from the game, right? So uh, when Craig and I started working on the show, almost one of our very first meetings, we said, Troy and Ashley have to be a part of it. Um, and we're such fans of like the talent and the hel like helping us create Joel and Ellie. Um, we felt like it was so important that they become part of the show. And it wasn't, it's, it has to be more than just like, kind of like a wink to the camera and like a cameo. Kay. These are real roles that we're keeping on the wraps for now. Uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. But man, I was, I'm bummed that I couldn't be there with you guys when you filmed this stuff. So they're in the so show. Stuff, so like they get cameo so appearances. On the internet, there's so much like talk that's about cool. what's being filmed, and I think that's you guys. That's cool. Secret that you, so you were up there and you, you filmed your roles by now, obviously. Uh, well, keeping yeah. secrets yeah. with this franchise is kind of old hat. Like we've except had except to for today. Yeah. 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 <laughs> except for the day. Uh, it was it was one of the hardest things for us to do is to let not let people know that because we're so proud of it and the work that we did. We worked hard. The, the crew. I have to say. Um, when I walked out on set, um, to be met with literally every person that I met on that crew uh, is such a fan of this game, and they all knew what it was that they were working on and committed to working on this project because they were fan and their love for this. Hope it's good. Game, uh, Sounds promising. I was coming home to friends. Does sound promising. Yeah, I, I the attention to detail, the crew was amazing. Bella and Pedro are. Man. I. They're so perfect, and it, it, we've, we've been trying to sort of describe that feeling of sort of seeing them in person. It's, it's, like, it's like the characters coming to life, but it, it, it's so much more than that. I feel like I can't fully explain it, but I am so excited to be a part of it, and just I can't wait to see it. I think it is going to be so good. It's, it's, so I love the story. I, I love Really I, I'm, part of I'm so world. excited about the series and the fact that you guys are going to be in it and undisclosed roles. I'm so fascinated how it's going to sort of bob and weave and, and, you know, are these characters we know from the game that they're playing? New characters? Can you tell us anything? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> so sneaky. All right. Well, we're so excited. To Maybe it's already on Twitter by now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's talk about what was on Twitter earlier uh, today. Lots of talk about uh, the idea or really what's happening is it looks like you guys are remaking the 
original game, and this is like a ground-up remake, is that right? That's right. Uh, we wanted to give people the definitive version of the, the first game that wasn't encumbered by any technology. Uh, wanted to find a way to get even closer to our original vision. Uh, and we're able to do it on the PS5 and PC, and instead of talking about it, let's look at it. All right, let's take a look. At okay. The okay, we got to see. One. We got to see. Is, is it just up graphics, 60 I FPS? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. It's got everything to do with that little girl. You know, nine two. I've never September been second. This close to the outside. So is that everything you hope for? Am I gonna have to buy this game again? Or are you gonna give me a free upgrade? Cause I love this game so much. Can it? It's one of my favorite games. Man. Once upon a time, I had somebody that I cared about, and in this world, that's good for one thing: getting you killed. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? I get in trouble down there. You make every shot count. I feel like it doesn't look much different, though. That's the thing. I mean, if I get a free upgrade, I'll take it, but... I've had some practice. I, I feel like there's no need for me to... <laughs> it's in development for PC as well. Truly one of my favorite wow. games of the past decade. Um, yeah, what's your reaction yeah. to that? Yeah, we uh, haven't seen that yet. Yeah, you're watching it in real time. Yeah. Uh... It's a, cause you did these I mean, these performances you did a decade ago. Yeah. You didn't go back in. I mean, you used the original performances. Yeah, actually, we, we came up with a process where you could take the original uh, animation that we did for the faces and kind of, like, retarget it on these new rigs that have a lot more fidelity. And then the animators went back and We're studied. side by side. So mm, how much okay, I see it now. And you and you redid I wasn't really... Everything. Okay. Everything was re uh, oh, wow. Then, oh, uh, wow. Okay. Director, re the whole yeah, thing I see up. it now. Um, but the, the great wow. thing about these faces is that um, they're closer to the original performance. All the animators went and studied those videos and got it closer to what you did on set okay. than we could have achieved before. I hope I can get it for free, uh, though. That's like one of the things I mean, we could talk about, like, this brand new AI, like, all the combat is, like, is, is redone. Um, just uh, the fidelity of everything, 60 frames per second, all the stuff you're getting on the PS5. Again, we They're going into this a lot. Is this the end? Because this, they're all, all new players for PS5 and PC. Is this the end of the show? We want them to have the definitive version of The Last of Us. Jeff loves Last of Us so much. Well, the first one I do too, but oh. I, I he did it with the second game too. Again, just to refresh my memory before yeah. working on the show. Um, I was a just a glutton for punishment, and I went straight from playing uh, part yeah, one it. straight into part two. Um, and so the last time I played literally would have been two years ago since we're celebrating the anniversary of part two coming out. So, I mean, it looks like I'm definitely going to be up for another yeah, playthrough I can't, with I this. Mean, yeah. I can't wait to go back. Oh, I can't. Uh, you guys did such an amazing job on that original game. and It's, it's really when you play it, when you see it in motion, it's really yeah. night and day from what, what it used to be. I imagine that, you know, the, mm. think of The Last of Us 2 combat mm. and kind of that back in The Last of Us 2. I hope they can give it to me for free, the though. System, the new AI system, everything we've learned online. But then the again, most people own the game. Is, Again, to give so, them kind of version. Just to I give a quick it. shout out, uh, this project is headed up by uh, Matthew Gallant and Sean Scott. I doubt it. Uh, and you'll hear a lot more about it and see a lot more about it. It's <sighs> coming up to the release September 2nd on PS5. All right. And well, shortly we'll thereafter on PC. We will look forward to that. You Show's feel, long. Like, a lot about We're an hour and a half in. Over an hour and a half in. What are you directing? You still making games? Still making games. Uh, I haven't given up my, my day job. Uh, it's a little early to talk about. Maybe if someone in place and wants to leak it, then we can talk about it now. Uh, otherwise, uh, we'll save but it. You do have a new project. Do you have a new project? Yeah. Uh, but we'll save it for another summer game fest. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see. We'll try and save it. All right. <laughs> Troy, Ashley, Neil, thank you so much for dropping by summer game fest, and I am so excited that The Last of Us is returning, as you said, in September. So thanks, guys. Appreciate awesome. it. Thanks, Jeff. Awesome.
All right, well, that is going to do it. Thanks to Naughty Dog and PlayStation for that very special I knew it. Uh, look at The Last of Us and the entire franchise and where things are going. Um, very, very excited about that. All right, Summer Game Fest continues over the next few days. Coming up right now on this very stream is Day of the Dez with I Am 8-Bit and Double Fine, including an exclusive new look at the planet. Why did I know that was going to be the end? Evolver Digital Showcase. Tomorrow, yeah. we got Netflix Geek Week, which I'll be co-hosting. I hope the Xbox show, show is better. Streaming. This didn't give me much of anything. And then finally Sunday, so. it's the Xbox All right, well, if I'd rate it, it's like a 4 out of 10. As for me, I'll see you again in August. I don't know. We are back live it was like nothing. Alone, Germany, so. for Gamescom opening night Whatever. Live on August 23rd. And then the Game Awards will Thanks for watching, December, if you watched Microsoft this TV actual Los reaction. Um, finally, I'm excited to share that Summer Game Fest will return I'll in June. I'll see you guys uh, as a next time. In